Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Alicia. I'm a soul crafty teacher. Um, on this channel, I do a lot of work with me and tutorials and DIYs on embroidery, vinyl, HEV, sewing, white toner printer, and more. But today, we are going to focus on how to embroider a hat. So in my last video, you saw me um, adding the white toner printer design to my hat. And I talked about how profitable it is. The profit margin for this one is even higher. Okay, so all that you need is your tearaway stabilizer, your hat, a machine, and some designs. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using my Recoma 20 needle. Um, absolutely love this. I'm going to walk you through step by step how I use it, um, explain what I'm using, and leaving links below to anything that I might use that you may want to uh, purchase or look at. So first thing I'm going to do, I need to change the arms on my machine. So instead of me trying to reach back there and do it, there is a button on here. If you press hat, when you go to your settings, it will automatically bring it up. And then I'm going to place the, the cap frame and driver onto the machine. So that is something I'm going to do first. Let's click on design. I'm looking for, there we go, the shrimp design. I made my own um, logo using a file from Creative Fabrica and I just typed in the font so I don't think there's a real restaurant name National Shrimp House but hey why not let's go for it so I have that one and I'm going to choose this save it to a folder okay so choosing this design and then I am save and shake and then go back and now I have my shrimp design this is National Shrimp House okay so here the design I'm gonna go ahead and trim this because I'm going to place this on my hat so I can find a central point and when I start embroidery I'm gonna take it off so and I also have my steps so I can go through and do my colors so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so that is done. I'm going to check. I have all of my colors set for my design. Also, down there, I got my IKEA board. Um, you might see my other videos I've had them in bins um, I do still have my mighty hoops in other bins but had an Ikea board pegboard and I was able to hang up all of my other ones and keep them off the floor so the only thing that's on the floor right now is a cap frame and driver and as soon as I press cap and hit the check mark it moves up so it knows I need to change it they give you an allen wrench to use I got this tool from Amazon it has different types of sizes and I just found that this was easier to use for me and it was like 12 bucks you get a whole entire kit so can't beat that and I will link it down below and this comes right off and I'm gonna do the same for the other side okay so I have one the arms off these are for the hoops Okay, and this slides off. So now I'm gonna put on the cap driver. Okay, you're gonna take it, slide it over. Okay, and I'm gonna do the other side. You don't want it to come off. You have the cap driver. You have to have this in order to do hats. I mean, you can use a um, unstructured hat. You can lay it on a cap with sticky, with sticky stabilizer. And you see that it already turned it around. I have this cap frame driver on here. So the cap driver is on here. I have my design. I need to go hoop the hat. So it comes in three pieces you gotta have the driver you need to have the thing to be able to 
hoop your hat because this part you're going to take over there to the cap driver and this is just your hooping stand so I'm just going to take this and slide it back over here this needs to be on the left side and you take it and you just straighten up and push it in got my uh, hat the new hat I'm going to take this out make sure you take out this part open it up in there and then I'm just gonna stick this in here you also can just lay it right here if you want to it has these little spikes where you can push down to hold it but I like to just put mine in there let's get it in there and get it out the way so what I do now I'm gonna grab the top of it and then when I slide it in I'm gonna slide it you have this tab right here you're gonna slide it under this tab. pretty much any embroidery machine you use, uh, multi needle, follows the same steps. So, so now that you have it on there, make sure it's straight, and then I'm gonna take it and lock it. Make sure it's tight. Got it tight. There. It's good. Now I'm gonna use my clips that came with it, and make sure you put your clips. They're not on the um, outside on the inside just in case it needs to rotate you don't want it to hit anything so I'm just going to take it and pull it and then put my clips turning this way okay and then I'm going to do my other one so I'm going to do my other one okay so once you have it and you feel like you have it in place, wait, one, you can go ahead and put it on the machine. But what I'm going to do is tape the design that I printed out. Next, I'm going to cut it out and then I'm going to put it where I want it to be. So that way when I place it um, on the machine, it has this little middle point right here. This little crosshair. I want to line it up with my needle. And you do not have to do this. So you can just center it how you like but for hats or any complicated design that's what I do okay I'm gonna get two pieces of tape so now that I have my two pieces of tape I'm going to center it so I know where I want it to be okay and I'm just gonna tape it okay so now that I have it, I'm going to take it off. And now we're going to take this hat over there to the machine. Alright, so now I'm going to take this, put it on the machine. I'm going to turn it this way. Alright, so I have it in. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to Trace. So now I have Trace, I'm going to go ahead and remove this. If I already check my bobbin on my machine. Okay, now I'm going to press start. This one had 13,000 stitches and tear away, you literally just tear it off. Then of course you want to go in the back and clean it. Okay, so there we go. My little natural shrimp house. 
No, it's just fried shrimp. We're good. So you can see it's a little distortion. Stretched it, but how cute. And I put in brilliance and then resized it. I'll resize it a little bit too much and just added um, a name. I made up a name, Nashville Shrimp House. So there we go. All right, so if you have any questions about anything you saw in this video today, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know if you border hats. It's very, very simple. Um, don't be afraid of it. As long as you have it hooped correctly and a right size design, tear away, you are good. So don't be afraid to embroider a hat. I was using my Recoma. I have a link down below if you are interested in purchasing either the 20 needle, the 15 needle, the 10 needle. Um, they're awesome machines. So thank you Crafty Scholars. That is all for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and tell someone about the Soul Crafty Teacher. Child Crafty Scholars. Mm -hmm.